How do I restore a backup to a new PC? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, go hit that subscribe button. I produce videos four or five times a week that I think you'll be interested in. Regardless of where you're watching this, subscribe to my weekly newsletter, askleo.com slash newsletter for more information. I publish tips, answers, and more to give you confidence and make using your technology easier. Here's the question. My wife's PC died. Fortunately, we have a backup hard drive. We're replacing our old computer with a new machine. Can we do a complete restore using the new machine? Or will that overwrite the latest version of Windows that came as the operating system on the new machine? How do we restore all of our content, including the applications that were on the old machine? Do we just copy folders? Sorry, but I'm a Mac guy and I know very little about PCs. First, I wanna be clear. Good on you for backing up in the first place. Seriously, that puts you ahead of so many people for so many different and important scenarios. The bad news is that this isn't one of those scenarios. It's a very common question, uh, but unfortunately, moving to a new machine isn't really what your image backup is for. You're correct. If you restore that backup that you took on your old machine to your new machine, it will overwrite everything, including Windows. So, for example, if your old machine had Windows 10 and your new machine has Windows 11, once you're done with your restore, then the new machine will be running Windows 10, the whatever was on your older machine. That's probably not what you want. You've got a new machine, you've got Windows 11, it's all configured up, it's, it'd be great to be able to just run it. It actually gets worse because not only are you restoring uh, and overwriting the operating system that came on your new machine, you're actually restoring to a completely different machine. That image backup you took of your Windows 10 machine, it was an image of Windows as configured specifically for all that hardware. So all of the drivers are for that hardware, all of the settings are for that hardware, all of, all of the configuration is unique and specific to that machine. When you restore that to a different machine, be it a new machine or an old machine, just a different machine, then much of that doesn't apply anymore much of that will be configuration for the wrong hardware. Now, to be fair, Windows will do its best. It will try so hard. It will try and locate drivers. It will try and update itself. It will try and reconfigure itself for the new hardware that it just found itself running on. It can appear to work. And in fact, you know, for some people, it actually can work. It depends on just how different the old and the new hardware are from one another. But the fact is, it is not 100% reliable. What everybody wants is the ability to restore everything but the operating system. As you say, you want to be able to restore your installed applications and you want to be able to restore your data, but without affecting Windows itself. Unfortunately, that's just not a thing. The problem is that there is no hard line that says, this is Windows, this is not. This is what you don't restore, this is what you do. Windows essentially has woven its way into so many different places, and conversely, the applications you have installed have woven their way into so many different places in Windows that it's basically a mess. I'll just go ahead and call it a mess. The bottom line, though, is that it's not a mess that you could easily recover from. So what do you do? Well, the thing to do is very simple and straightforward. Complete setting up your new machine. Complete configuring Windows 11 or whatever version of Windows came on that machine. Set up your account, set up um, you know, your, your whatever applications came with Windows. Make sure it's all configured up. Back it up at that point, by the way, if you, if you have the opportunity. Create an image backup in case you ever need to go to that point. Now, install all of the applications you use from scratch, from their original installation media or from their downloads. 
My preference in this situation is not to try and do this all at once. My preference instead is to install the applications that you need as you need them. What that means is that when you're finally up and running, whenever that might be, you've got the applications you need, but not the applications you don't, right? We tend to accumulate things over time. You'll have a cleaner scenario with fewer applications, fewer things running, probably a faster machine just for that alone. But the key here is that you are reinstalling each of those applications from scratch. And then, yes, restore your data. You can restore your data from any number of different places depending on how you've kept it. Your backup image is absolutely one of them. The backup image from that old machine has all your old data on it. You can copy that data off to your new machine, file by file, folder by folder, however works for you, however you happen to have things organized. Of course, you may have your data stored elsewhere in a slightly more convenient form. Like in my case, a bunch of my stuff is in Dropbox. So simply installing Dropbox and all of a sudden I've got a bunch of stuff that reappears on my new machine without my having to do much else. But the bottom line is it is a three-step process. Install or finish configuring the operating system from scratch, install the applications you care about from scratch, and then restore your data from wherever it makes sense. Now remember, your image backups are good for a lot of things. I don't want you to feel badly for having done these image backups for so long and then not be able to use it when you move to another machine. On that old machine, had the hard disk ever died? Had you ever had a massive malware infection? Had you ever just lost a file? Your image backup would have been the repository you would have returned to to recover. It's just not the repository you end up using for a wholesale transition to a brand new or different machine. Hope that helps. For comments, for updates, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 11938. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.